Good afternoon, and welcome to Have a Chat. I'm your host for today's show, Judy Loge, joined by my lovely Veronique Garceau as co-host. Always glad to be here on a Monday with you, Judy. In Mighty Miramichi, for anyone that's watching, of we course. are at the Rogers Station in Miramichi West, and it's a lovely place to hang out on a Monday. It is. I mean, it, and it's almost like being in the midst of a tropical sun because yeah. the lights are so hot in the I studio. Know. I love it. It does make <laughs> you feel alive. It's all good. I'm not complaining. I just find it funny some days. Yeah, mm -hmm. I asked you if you'd bring a quote, and I think you picked a pretty nice one. Well, it's a, it's a, it's an oldie but a goodie. Okay. And I, and I, it really. I'm really trying to keep it in my head lately, especially because, yeah. you know, sometimes we get wrapped up in all of the things that are not working the way that they should. And, That's right. You know, so this one, yeah, it's an oldie okay. but a goodie, like I said. Um, sing like no one's listening. Mm -hmm. I do all the time and mm -hmm. shouldn't. Um, love like you've never been hurt. Okay. Dance like nobody's watching and live like it's heaven on earth. Well, Veronique, I take from that the strongest message being love like you've never been hurt. That's really mm -hmm. hard to do. It is because we all can, we all like, we all have baggage, right? When we go into relationships or what, you know, even in our friendships, we all have that stuff that we carry around and it's hard mm -hmm. sometimes to let go of that heavy stuff. Yeah. Everyone, I think I'm speaking to everyone, has been rejected at some point, whether Absolutely. it's been a little school crush or a long-term relationship, maybe yep. in your 20s, 30s, whatever. Recently, it could be a divorce or it could be a girl-to-girl -girl friendship that's been forever and then all of a sudden something yeah. transpires that it yeah. just goes south and you don't speak again. Yep. And that hurts because they're maybe your soulmate as a friend. Absolutely. You've, you've told them everything, they share everything with you and now there's no more of that. And I really find Maybe you can disagree with me or agree with me on the fact that I find some people do not know how to be alone. They figure yeah. as soon as that relationship ends, mm -hmm. which whatever it may be, man to man, man to woman, woman to woman, whatever, mm -hmm. they have to have somebody in their life immediately. Yeah. They it's don't to know feel how to void. be alone. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And it's, it, yeah, and I, I, think you're, I think you're totally right. I think sometimes we get very wrapped up in, in not knowing how to, how to be alone. And it, it, it's funny because I have been single for a lot of years and have wonderful, wonderful friends. Yes. Wonderful friends. And I have amazing family. And I'm very blessed in that way. Mm -hmm. um, but even that, and, I, and I'm quite literally never alone, right? Because I'm, mom's always yes. with me or I'm, I'm out at an event or whatever. Yeah. But I do get lonely. Okay. Well, that would be expected for sure. Right? I do get lonely because I don't have that person of my own that, you know, I have my girlfriends and, and I don't know what I would do without the friends that I have. And your fur babies. And my fur babies. Oh They're unconditionally yes. loving absolutely, best friends. Absolutely. Absolutely. But, and I don't know what I would do without them because they have, they have quite literally changed my life. Yeah. But I do, I do get lonely because I, I'm, I have a wonderful life. I'm very happy. But I have those moments of wanting to be hugged, yes. wanting to say, "Just come, let me, you know, yeah. just put your shoulder on mine and, and tell me your head on my shoulder, tell me what's been troubling you, and just yeah. to have that support." And I think you do very well being an independent woman. Mm -hmm. I know people that do not know how, and they. Um, I think you have to, in order to really give yourself to somebody, have to be in a healthy relationship with yourself Absolutely. first. Right? Absolutely. And the other I thing agree. is, I find I've had friends that have done it. I don't think I've done it. I like time for myself if something's ended to have space, mm. but they will date on the rebound, just bingo. Yeah. And then they end up hurting somebody. Yeah. They hurt somebody because they're not really over the last person. They're not ready. Yeah. Oh, and then that person gets hurt. So I think take time out for yourself. And Absolutely. I love your quote. Absolutely. And I, you know what? And I think, you know, I have been, I, I again, I, I've been very independent for a very long time, right? And I'm and, and very comfortable in that. Yes. And I think that's what, what happens is that people aren't comfortable right? And having to do all of those things or make those decisions or just to True. be in True. their own head, right? Um, and, but I think, I, and where it comes from for me is there are those moments where I'm like, I, just, I want someone who actively chooses me, Yeah, you know? And that's, and that's the piece that's missing. That's interesting. That's someone that is actively choosing me to be mm -hmm. in their, their lives. Significant other. Yeah. 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 It'll come. It's going to come. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. So we had a beautiful Mother's Day weekend. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was a cool one, but it was always uh, special for those uh, people who have been fortunate enough, as mm -hmm. you and I have been, to have mothers. And mom, I love you. You know that. Absolutely. You're my, you're my bestie. 
Um, but then there are those people like my friends, my relatives, and people that I know that do not have a mother and have not had a mother for some time. Mm -hmm. And so it's heart aching for me to see them mourning mm -hmm. on Mother's Day the loss of theirs mm -hmm. and yet cherishing their memories and Absolutely. we've all had a mother, right? Yeah. We've all had been born. So yeah. um, what was it like for you, Veronique? Yeah, I, you know, I'll, I'll be I'll be honest and it's, you know, it's not something I'm, I, I probably will talk about that often, but I'm very, very conscious right now of the progression of mom's uh, disease, right? And that I'm I'm in in kind of those lasts where I will get to make shared memories with her, shared being that I will remember, but she won't necessarily, right? Mm -hmm. And so um, it, it's a it I I it's a little bittersweet. We had a great day, yes, yes. and I know that Mother's Day is actually really complicated for a lot of people. Oh. You know, we are so lucky. I know in the in the relationships that we have. And with our mothers and also yes. like grandmothers and all yes. of that we had very strong loving beautiful women, women in our lives yeah we had right we very had. like incredible and I know that not everybody feels that way and no. it's hard some have you been know? abused and some yes. have been there yes. like since birth they're they basically raised themselves yeah, because the absolutely. mother was gave birth but wasn't necessarily a mother right. or they lost their mother yes. or they or they want to be mothers themselves and can't like it's a yep. very complicated it day sure and I get is. that sure but is. I you know what I, we we had a wonderful time we enjoyed a wonderful gift from you oh. uh, last night we we had a, a very great tasty treat that we um chowed down on in the backyard actually nice. and, yeah so it was um it was Good. a lovely it was a lovely day together yeah yeah and as a together. mother um i've been way past the point i'd say for about 10 years now that i do not want anything i mean a card's nice from my husband and my children mm -hmm. but i and they did and they wanted to give me gifts and did but i kept saying no i don't need i don't yeah. want but the most important thing for me on that day is to talk to them yeah. and just to hear that i do mean a lot to them i mean obviously i do but for them to say you know mom on the card you're the best mom ever yeah. or you are the best mom in the world or you couldn't have been a better mother that's all i need to know is that i've given my best shot and that I obviously came through to them. Yes, And last absolutely. night was a big chat with Evan on the phone, mm. FaceTiming, and Jansen was able to, I was able to give him a great big hug, and you're to say, boys. no, I'm just proud, and <clears throat> uh, you know, it's, it's not about gifts, it's not about, um, it's just the words that you, you did your best, and, and that they feel that you did your best, yes. and feel appreciated. And your, your boys are wonderful, you raised two wonderful boys, and, and they, you know, men, I guess, I, I, can't, I, I forget that, because I, I, I remember when they were little, and I hate when, it, when people say that to me, but um, you know, and, and so you're very, you're very lucky, but you've done, you, you worked hard to raise those beautiful yes, boys. Yes, <laughs> I, I, I have to say I did. Yep. <laughs> uh, so let's give the men some time now. Let's talk about some <laughs> very uh, amazing frittle men. <laughs> yeah, that's let's a good word. give a shout out to Robert De Niro, the movie actor that everybody I'm sure has heard tell of, unless they've been sleeping under a rock. Mm -hmm. Robert De Niro now has uh is this child number seven yes and he is 79. i, I, can't, I, I just don't even i'm exhausted <laughs> thinking about it and yes. i'm 50 so i can't imagine having a newborn infant at 79. and it's with tiffany chen she is the most gorgeous person mm -hmm. they say like just an outstanding personality and yet she's just a stunning model actress and so they're over the moon with this baby but like next of year course. he'll be 80. yes and he has other children, and then you have Rod Stewart, who's 78, who has eight. Eight children. Let's go, Rod. Giddy up. Hot legs. I mean, and if you've seen him perform, have you seen him in concert? I have. He's he, incredible. My gosh, the energy of that yeah. guy. Mm -hmm. I think that's why he's such a family guy, because he has so much of that to put into his music, to put into his social life, and then to put into his children. He plays soccer with his kids. Mm. He he loves his daughters. He spends time with them all. He's just a real family kind of man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he's like that, you know, the Mick Jagger style that never seems to get old. I know, and it's quite amazing to see some of those, you know, who I would have grown up with, celebrity singers, you know, performers, um, actors, and all that. And they don't seem to age, no, you know, like, no. and it's quite remarkable. And, and I, I did see Rod Stewart in concert, and I think at one point I read mm. something that he, um, 
there was a, a possibility at one point or another that he was he was actually going to become a pro soccer player. Yeah, he loves it. And, and I remember being at his concert, I was in Ottawa, and he was kicking soccer balls into the audience. Yeah. And I'm like, holy cow, look at that go. Like, just phenomenal. He did that when I saw him in Vegas, too, and he was like an 18-year-old out oh. there kicking and moving, and the energy is unbelievable. Yeah. Paul McCartney is 80 now, 80, the, the legend himself, and has a 19-year-old. Yeah. And then who, Alex, Alec Baldwin Alec, yeah. has eight children now. That's incredible. And they range from ages 27, the oldest, down to two years old. That's incredible. That's a big family. That's incredible. Well, are, I think, like, Dad's 77, and Dad's in phenomenal shape. Like, he's he, he's fantastic. But I just cannot imagine him with a newborn. With an infant? No. Of course, these people have nannies, and of they have everything they to surround them with the best of the best. But still, yeah. it's their children. You know, oh, they're, yeah. They're, they're, it's, their child. Absolutely. Okay, so you and I have a very fun, yes, interesting fundraiser yes. event coming up this coming week on May 20th. Mm -hmm. It's from 6 to 9. It is uh, at Brandon on the Boulevard, one of our local retail stores, which carries women's and men's fashions and more. And um, you can just jump right in, Veronique, because you and I are going to co MC this event. And maybe yeah. you can tell us and the viewers more about the cause and yeah. uh, who's speaking. Well, I'm really excited about it, as are you. I know that. And, and uh, uh, Colette, we've had on the show, and she is a phenomenal speaker and um, activist advocate uh, for uh, the prevention of violence against women. Colette Martin. Int intimate partner violence mm. uh, is actually what what it's called because of course it happens to men or women yeah um and she's gonna she's gonna share her journey and you and i get to uh, MC the event at branded on the boulevard yes. so wonderful um business here in the uh area that just moved actually to douglas town now yes. so that's exciting um but yeah and i um Tickets, I believe, are forty dollars. Still a few left. Yeah, to go into not, the store. not many, not many. No. Yeah, not many, and uh, it's going to be quite the evening. I believe it's from six until nine, uh, six until eight, and really looking forward because they are raising um, funds for the Josie Foundation. We have had our um, member of Parliament, Jake Stewart, on yes. to talk about the Josie mm -hmm. Foundation mm -hmm. and all of the work that they do. You've been a, an incredible supporter of the Josie Foundation uh, every year, and they um, raise money to give back to people who have to go for care outside of their own community That's right. or if they're you know and they do gas cards and grocery cards yeah. and like really uh, financial support in in some of our our uh, community members worst times of need exactly so it's for people with chronic illness yes. or life-threatening illness yeah. so this is an event where you're not only seeing latest fashions and supporting local but you're also having that element of fun because it's a women's event there Absolutely. could be men that show but it's a sure. dress up get out have fun there's refreshments i believe prizes so there's that fun element and then there's a very serious element of clet martin talking about being a true survivor mm -hmm. uh, as in a horrific story she will share of, of endurance and and true survival well it's incredible really and and i i'm just trying you and i have emceed events before so mm -hmm. it's really um it's fun I, I love emceeing events with you and it's it's lots of fun and it's an opportunity to get dressed up and get yeah. out yes so if there may be a few tickets left and yeah. check them out it's a great supported cause again for the josie foundation mm -hmm. um what about the elvis <laughs> concert that was put off for a while yes uh, yeah Montreal, and then i missed it so then i thought well i'll try to go again i know but that is the same night it is the same night, and in typical Miramichi fashion, there is so much going on every weekend. I, I don't know how people say that they're bored, but um, so it is a uh, new building fundraiser, another fundraiser event for uh, the Royal Canadian Legion branch number three. Great. So I do belong to that to, to that branch, and uh, they're raising funds in order to build a new building. Well, that's um, much needed. Well, it is because you okay. know they do so much out of the building that they have, but you know some limitations. It's an old building. Yes. It's it's going to require some some uh, fixing and. So they need to build a new one, and especially a more accessible one, and so more uh, cost-efficient one as well. Yeah. So um, Alan Smith is an Elvis Presley tribute artist. Mm. So it's going to be happening uh, Saturday, May 20th. Doors open at 6. Showtime is at 7 at the Logieville Community Center. So fantastic venue to be having that as well. Uh, there's going to be a special guest, Trina Burton, a 50-50 draw. And door prizes were yeah. donated by a couple of local businesses. Yes. So there's going to be two two. $250 gift cards. Nice. Um, tickets are only $25 um, each, and you can 
Uh, phone 773-7433 or email um, the Chatham Legion. For so the three. thing is to wheel different crowds for different Absolutely. events, right? So we'll have our crowd mm -hmm. as we do the uh, fundraising fashion show. Yes. And then you'll have couples and yes. all kinds of different age groups at that. So support either or, but just get out and support our local entertainment. They encourage and dancing. And fundraising. They encourage dancing. Dancing. And who was who doesn't want to move to Elvis? That's right. Let's just give a few uh, prayers and uh, comforting words to those people out in Alberta that are going through a terrific mm -hmm. time of fighting the wildfires. It's just unbearable, really, out there, I guess. Well, and, it, and it's, you know, not the first time that it's happened. We know that uh, in the past there's been some pretty um, horrific ones that have... Uh, swept through like Fort McMurray a few years ago. So I uh, really hope that all are well. And, and I know that a lot of our um, firefighters from across the country yes. and other countries have uh, gone out to help. So uh, really hoping that that is under control soon and they get some much needed rain and rain. And, um, but yeah. it's not going to be coming. Apparently they have no. very volatile. Um, they're looking at really a lot of heat and they're also looking at a, a lot of wind to come. Not a huge mm. winds, but enough to make it that mm. much more harrowing. Yeah. And there are 1,500 Alberta wildlife firefighters involved out there. That's incredible. There are 200 firefighters from the United States. Mm. We have the Canadian Armed Forces heavy equipment out there helping out, 25 um, fixed wings aircraft mm -hmm. and 15 helicopters in total. And over 800 agencies are helping out. And there are um, nine different centers they have for people to go that are That's being incredible. evacuated. Yeah, Dad actually uh, uh, drove out. Uh, he he drove cross country this uh, last week and was south, so he he did miss all of that. But he said it was incredible to see, you know, people leaving uh, the mm -hmm. communities and things like that, and just and and also people heading to help. Yeah, yeah, quite quite amazing. So let's just hope it can get under control and. Yeah. We are um, going to bring on some very special Can't guests, wait. but just really quickly, we don't have much time, but we just want to touch on before we go to break about dogs, particularly, and ticks. Watch your dogs. It's tick season. Um, you have to really look at your dog when you bring them in. If you're in a wooded area, a grassy area, yeah. they can even be on your lawn. I know. People don't think that, yeah. but check behind their ears, check between the back of their legs, yep. the paws. Crevices. The crevices, yeah. and especially on puppies that are dark, yeah. like look behind their ears, look behind their collar, all of that. Just be aware of ticks, dogs, and how serious it can be if they're affected. Mm -hmm. And we both have our beloved animals that we do, we and, they're, and they're both out. My my two are outside running around in the grass, so so <laughs> beware. Now we're going to go to break. Please grab a nice cold beverage or a cup of tea, and come back and join Veronique and I and our guests for more have a chat. Hello and welcome back to Have a Chat. I'm your host for today's show, Judy Loche. It's a glorious Monday. We're going to be airing all week and we're live at the Rogers studio right now in Newcastle, Miramichi West. I am joined by the lovely Veronique Arsenault. Thank you, Judy. I'm so glad to be here with you as always and, and we are all very well matched. I think we're all very well coordinated. <laughs> we have some very special guests on that didn't get the memo it showed up to kind of coordinate the look today. Oh, it looks good. Very smart women. Well, it's funny because we people we don't actually tell each other what we're wearing no. on the show ever. And although most of the most often I'm in black and white, but yeah. um, it but we see always, always seem to kind of yes. make it work. So, look mm -hmm. at our lovely guests we have today. Mm -hmm. First time guests again. Lisa Patterson is here to join us, a longtime friend Thank of mine. Thank you for having us. And I love Lisa yes. and her lovely daughter, Shea Butler. Mm -hmm. And they're here to talk about the James M. Hill Prom, James so, M. Memorial High School Prom event that's coming up. But first of all, ladies, and because I know you best, Lisa, the viewers may not, tell us a few things about yourself personally. Uh, well, except for uh, post-secondary education, I've lived in Miramichi my whole life. Mm -hmm. um, I've been with Aaron for 28 years. He's a great guy. We mm -hmm. have uh, two children, obviously Shay. <laughs> 
And Probably the favorite, right? It's oh, yeah. the favorite for sure. Oh, for sure. He's not watching this. And uh, a son, McCray, mm -hmm. and in 200 or 2025, we'll have a new daughter in law, Emily. Oh, oh that's exciting it news. It is, it is. I, and she's a lovely girl, too. Oh, Aww. boy, she is. We love her. And Lisa and I had a baby, what, a day apart? Yes. A day Goodness apart. Goodness gracious, really? Yeah, our yes. sons went to school Aww. together. So it's really lovely to have you two here. Thank yeah. you. And so that's a bit. Now, what about you, Shay? A little personal I'm stuff. Shay, I've lived in Mauritius my whole life. Um, after I graduated, I'm going to Mount A to pursue a Bachelor of Arts. Wonderful. Fantastic. Good school. Oh, yeah. Um, I like drawing. I like reading. Mm. Um, yeah. And we love drawing and we love reading. We just said, I can't draw, um, so I read. I, I think, uh, <laughs> ditto. <laughs> we have well established that I have yeah. no creative talent whatsoever. No, no, no. <laughs> no. You, I'm agreeing with you. <laughs> yeah. no, I, I knew if I kept talking and nodding, she'd go with yeah. you. No, I, I disagree. No, it might, I can't draw, but that's okay. Because yeah. yeah. we had a wonderful artist on last week, and I was just in awe, and I'm like, I don't, I can't. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so we're here to talk all things prom. Oh, right? Yeah. I'm so yeah. excited about that. I remember my own prom. My dress was very poofy. Um, so first of all, Shay. When is the prom, and uh, it, is it before or after graduation? I can't remember. Um, it's before graduation, so it's June 16th. Oh. A month from, is this the 16th? 15th. Close. Okay, so yeah. getting real tomorrow. close. Yes. Are you so excited? I'm very excited. I'm so glad that it's like kind of a lot normaler now than yeah. it was <laughs> right. last year and the year before. Oh, yeah. it's yeah. so awful for them. <laughs> you, mu know. you must have, I, you, you and all of your friends and graduate fellow graduates must have had a bit of that worry coming oh, into we this year. Yeah. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. Yeah. We we're so scared we we're gonna have to like wear masks and all that mm -hmm. stuff. And I'm so glad it's like very normal now. Yeah. What is that lipstick though? I know it did. Oh, yeah. It did for three years. Yeah. I didn't wear any. Yeah. <laughs> um, but um so okay, so it's the sixteenth. So are like are you ready? I'm ready. I have all my appointments booked. Good. Um costing Lisa a lot of money. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that's mom. The, that's the way it's supposed to be, though. Mm -hmm. I know. I know. I know. That's what happens. <laughs> what are moms for, right? I know. So, uh, because the teachers are so involved with the other components of graduation year and the end of the year marking and all of that, they've kind of stepped away from the planning of the prom, which uh, I can see because there's such a lot of duties going on, right? So, the parents now are in charge of prom coordination and making it happen for their their beloved children, and partners that, that mm -hmm. attend. Mm -hmm. So you're here to talk to Lisa about a committee. There's a prom committee for Jameson Hill actually. Yes, there's a prom committee. We first met uh, January, like January of 2023. It was just to establish the groundwork, create subcommittees uh, of all the different things that have to be done. I would say total from the first meeting to the last, probably 15 to 25 grads mm -hmm. and parents mixed. Um, and. Uh, you know, we communicate, we've only had three to four meetings, but we communicate regularly through mm -hmm. social media and that about the, th you know, about the things that have to be done and coordinated yeah. and, It's a you know, lot though, right? It's a lot. Like we have, uh, like someone who's, a uh, committee was in charge of food, another one who was in charge of decorating, mm. uh, photo booth, um, I'm trying to think what else. I, I know well, I'm... decorating uh, food, I'm trying to think what else there would be too. Oh, and the tickets, we have someone who did a mock-up oh. of the ticket to send to a printer to get mm. printed yes. uh, to and a local printer. And then there's that entrance part, right? <laughs> oh, well. With like the red carpet you yeah. Yeah. Well, mm. and it's going to be uh, kind of a double red carpet mm. this year. Well, one of them's oh. a silver carpet. We were lucky enough to get Cindy McGraw from Cindy's event planning. Mm. So, of course, there's going to be the red carpet coming in, as they usually have, and, mm. and uh, you and Patty will be mm -hmm. announcing and Larry oh, Lynch will be doing the photographs. Yeah. But when you come in the school, there's almost, she's designed it almost like another entrance to a gala. Oh, exciting. So we're Ooh. hoping that the parents and students take the opportunity to get nice mm -hmm. pictures in, in that to where it's more of a backdrop. It's so exciting though, and I, I love know. watching you walk in. I know. And people that don't even have kids involved or that aren't part of it, like myself, just announcing, want to see it anyway. Because oh, it's absolutely. so, it's a happy time. Mm -hmm. It's yes. a very special night. You've waited 12 years. I know. I, well, and I, I love that, that, I love that that's a thing here. It's not yes. a thing anywhere. <laughs> it's not a thing. When I came here from Ontario at that time for my grade 12 year, I was just 
blown away by what yeah. prom was, uh -huh. right? And the whole entrance and I like mm -hmm. it was fantastic. Mm -hmm. It was it was so exciting to see all of my family and the community really and this was like not last year, this was a few years ago. Yeah, um, I feel line up line up and, and watch me walk in. I'm like, this is awesome. <laughs> it's a real wrap up I from know. kindergarten yeah. right through to grade twelve of all of your accomplishments. It's kind of like a yes, I did it, it's time to celebrate moment. Exactly. That's what it is. It's a yeah. real finale. Yep. Yeah. Right. Now, Shay, you and other graduates are on the prom planning committee. Yeah. That's, a lo that's a lot of that's a lot of words I just said there. Prom planning committee. Yep. Um, so, what what's your role, and what the, what what does that look like? So basically, our role is kind of like throwing the ideas at the parents, and they kind of articulate them a lot better than we do. Yeah. Uh -huh. So we've been showing them like Pinterest boards or like random photos we find online, and then they'll kind of come out with a theme and like tell the decorator and stuff. I'm sure the parents are thrilled. Yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, the graduates actually came up with a few themes, and they were voted on. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. And they settled on like a whole old Hollywood glam. Yeah. Oh, that's really nice. So like red carpet, some black, some gold, some silvers, like very Beautiful. sparkly, but still classy. Beautiful, mm. I love it. And it's gonna match everyone's dress, which I'm really happy about, because there's not really, there's nothing that doesn't match it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna look really great. So is it that the parents that are on the committee like yourself, Lisa, bring your daughter and then the other members. How many did you say roughly are in this planning committee? I'd say like f for the f like over the span of the three meetings, yeah. there'd probably be 15 to 20 people because, you know, some yeah. can't make it all the time. So I would say there was probably eight to 10 graduates that have attended all the meetings yeah. um, or, you know, or one of the meetings. And then they bring, perhaps if available, their child to come in on the, on the talks too. Oh, and you collaborate sure. on everything. Yes. Because we want them to give us their vision, so then it goes on to the decorator and she can kind of create mm -hmm. amazing what they would like. So let's go back to what Veronique spoke about initially is that from 2020 until now, we're just ending the pandemic. They're saying, you know, the World Health Organization yeah. has said that it's okay to live a little bit again and remove the, the masks, etc. It's not a health so, emergency anymore. There's no bars being held then, right? That night, nothing. So you must be elated. What was that like for you knowing that you were actually going to be celebrating, unlike those dear young people that could not? For mm -hmm. one year for sure, they had really basically nothing happening. 2020. And then 2021 was real sketchy, iffy, and done differently. Now, you must feel pretty special. Oh, feel I'm blessed. so excited. Finally, it's over. Like, this is our first, like, actual normal year of high school because grade nine was cut short for us. Mm. So we're so excited to finally be back. And mm. there's no, like, restrictions. Like, there's nothing that we have to worry about. We don't have to, like, be so careful about everything. No. And we can just, like, have fun, have fun, talk to our friends, not have to wear masks. And we can go full glam because we don't have anything covering it up or, mm. like, no restrictions and we can actually dance with each other because of the whole Lovely. six right? <laughs> of course you can and i forgot that part and even regarding the school part the studies part so important because it's not at home online doing yeah. the virtual thing again oh, for yeah. your final year big stuff i don't know how teachers and students did it to no. be honest with you i don't know how how the schools how you all navigated that it must have been just mm. so difficult i have a lot of friends that are teachers and and i just for all of you it must have been so difficult so um but Lisa, let's talk a little bit about prom can can be expensive. Ha! Yes, <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> like, and I, you know, I, I I think of of my own self. I'm the, yeah. I I can't imagine having to afford a prom right now, to be honest. Mm. Well, and I think it, you know, it's like we were saying, prom can kind of be as elaborate, mm. or you know, not everybody likes elaborate and blingy, and no. so they might, you know, have something a little more toned down. But I mean, some of the girls are you know they it's hair it's mm -hmm. lash extensions it's mani pedis the whole yes. thing but then you have others who you know are really good at doing the diy thing mm -hmm. and so you know it really helps the budget as well mm -hmm. um and yeah so i mean i think it it depends on the person what the budget is like um on another note though for uh students that can't afford uh, prom and grad fees, the school always makes sure that those are covered. Mm. And there have been many from the community who reach out uh, offering prom gowns, mm -hmm. suits, mm -hmm. you know, Aww. anything prom mm -hmm. to help out, which is, you know, which is a fabulous thing to do. And we encourage everyone who might have a prom dress from the last couple of years or whatever to reach out mm -hmm. 
and uh, make someone feel special for themselves. Do you think people are still looking? Do you think the young people, the girls particularly, are looking for that um, dress? I would say the majority already have their okay. dress. Well, the majority of the ones we know, but what would you say? Because you're at school all the time. Um, I find most of the graduates have had their prom dresses planned out for like years now. Oh, years! <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh. It is huge. Well, you guys. <laughs> yeah, I had, I had mine made. So did I. What? <laughs> it, my first prom that I went with was someone, not my grad year. It mm -hmm. was it was uh, something that my mom made. Oh yeah. Uh, and I mean, you know, we thought that was fabulous. Yeah. It's just too cute that you've been planning for years. I know. Well, and but so my first prom dress was also not my year of graduating, and I wore uh. a vintage wedding dress. Oh, oh yeah. Cool. It was a it was a strapless vintage wedding dress Beautiful. and it was fantastic. And then the next year I had mine made. Colette yep. um, rest her soul is mm -hmm. gone now. But mm -hmm. she made my dress and, and wow. it was it was also a wedding dress, but then we tweaked it so it didn't look like a wedding dress. That's fabulous. <laughs> yeah. What a great she was idea. Fabulous. And I never wear white, but I it was cream and nice. I, I never wear that color, but it was it was quite good. Shay, what would you say is in? Mm -hmm. I, I guess this is gonna be a two part question because I wanna know you don't want to meet yourself. This is your night, that's her night and his night. So nobody wants to walk in with the same gown. How do you collaborate? Do you do it online and say, okay, mine is, you know, to the ankle, it's mauve or blue or how do you do that so that you're not going to be sharing the stage with four different girls? So we have like a prom dress group chat. So the second you get your dress and the second you get it bought and everything, you send it to the group chat. Okay. And you can look at all the photos in there name. and make sure that nobody has like the same dress that you're about to buy. Nice. So it's really good. We've been really good this year at like making sure that nobody buys the same dresses. And we're also adding the people that aren't graduating but are going with somebody who's Lovely. graduating. Nice. So we make sure that we don't slip up on that too. It's very well planned then. It is. And what could you tell us? I don't know. What is in, um, yeah. you know, like um, I was just a plain, you know, straight down dress. She was in a more full one, frivolous gown. What is the look? Last year, I remember they were spelt. They were like to the body, the fit it, fit it, fit it for the most part, like evening gowns. That's what I would refer to them as. What do you think is going to be the look? I find that there's a really good variety this year. There's more, there's some girls taking more like classy, skin tight, like one color, no shimmers or anything, more classy. It's really nice. And then there's more people taking a fantasy route, like floral, fa flowers, feathers. Oh! Very flowy, oh. with like pastels and stuff. So I find there's a really good variety this year. There's a lot of different dresses. I don't find one looks the same as the other. Like they're very vast. Beautiful. That's a really nice thing to know that there's a whole showcase know, of I different. And would you say length is all pretty much below the knee? Yeah, pretty yes. much. Yes. Formal. Yeah. Like more formal as in, like you said, evening gown style or the Cinderella look, but nothing too, like there are gorgeous dresses to the knee as well, but they're not, they're just not going to happen, I don't think. Mm -hmm. And there could be that girl that does say, I'm going to wear it no matter what, and she'll be the, Absolutely. she'll have that edge to her. Absolutely. Yeah. But there's no like set, like dress I find this year. Like there's some people going with like two pieces, mm. big puffy ones, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. slim, sick, slim fitting ones. Yep. yep. And yeah, there's really good variety. Love it. And the guys, do they, are they in on this? You know, I'm going to, you're going to tell them what to wear or are they in on it? Like, you know, if you have say a pink dress, if they want that pink bow tie, they're always coordinated now. Yes. Do they get excited like the girls or do you kind of tell them what they need? I don't find they get as excited. I think they're more excited for the parties and the after parties than anything. <laughs> exactly. True enough. <laughs> They'll put on whatever color tie you tell them. That's yeah. basically it. That's what men should be like. You should just tell them what to do and they should just do it. Absolutely. Giddy up. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm okay with that. And I love the men watching here. We do love you and appreciate you, but just, you know, we have the final word. <laughs> when it comes to prom, I get yeah, it. Yeah, when it comes to everything, we have the final word. <laughs> Um, but Lisa, there's so, there's so much pressure, and we, we touched on it a little bit earlier with, um, you know, help out there for, like, prom dresses or, or thick, but there's so much pressure on making that night, like, a big night. Yes. Um, for people out there, how can they help? Well, I mean, we're always willing to take any, you know, donations mm -hmm. for prom dresses, suits. If anyone from the community, you know, wants to assist mm. us, they could reach out to the school. Uh, you know, I think the prom committee pretty much has everything, okay. you know, under control. Yeah. Um, I would say probably for safe grad would be more where we would be looking for sponsors mm. and the community if they would like to contribute anything. Mm. I know in the past, 
you know, a lot of uh, businesses and, and mm -hmm. private citizens have come forth and donated, whether it's a prize, whether it's money for the school to buy a prize for mm -hmm. SafeGrad. Um, I find it's, you know, more for that. Uh, we up the, like we made, increase the prices of the tickets to cover a lot mm -hmm. of what the prom cost would mm -hmm. be. Mm -hmm. And the reason being is that the James M. L. right now has three uh, fundraisers. One is a Pizza Delight Coupon, another is the Krispy Kreme Donuts, and then there's a shed they're selling tickets oh, on yes, yeah. uh, for Student the Council. Yes, awesome. the Leisure Shed. Yep. And so because we felt it was better to go that route instead mm -hmm. of competing mm -hmm. with the yes. fundraising. Yep. So, um, you know, that's what we felt was the easiest. I agree. Yes. I think it's a perfect idea. I think you're going to have a fantastic time. Our time is up until we have to bring on our next guest. We have to go to break. But thank you very, very much to Shea Butler, her lovely mom, Lisa thank Patterson. You. And, of course, Veronique and I have enjoyed every minute of this chat about prom. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for having thank us. Thank you for having us. Good job. Have fun. Bye, everybody. Do not go far. Come back. We have more Have a Chat very soon. Have a chat, everybody. If you're just joining us, I'm your host for today's show, Judy Loche. I'm always excited to be here on set with my co-host, Veronique Garcinot. Me too, Judy, because I love our chats and I love to, I love all of our guests and, and we there's so much going on. I know, and people say that they enjoy Veronique and I, so it means that we must have a good chemistry together. I agree. I like it. I do too. <laughs> we're going to stay as long as we're supposed to say that about ourselves. Well, no, it's just that's nice to know if, if people say, well, I'm not really thinking you to jive. Well, then it yeah, wouldn't be good, but they do like our back and forth. Yeah, we're comfy. So we have another lovely guest I with know. us who has been on once, but probably five years ago now. It was a while ago, mm -hmm. yeah. The lovely Vanessa Summers. Hello. And she is the owner of the Wedding Lark, which is amazing. Thank it's you. such a beautiful store. Thank you. I, I, it's just, and, and I love, I love your social media presence as well. We'll talk yes. about that in a minute. But I love your social Me media too. presence as well. It's Thank fantastic. You. I love it too, Vanessa. For yes. some of those people who do not know anything about you, tell us Certainly. a little bit about yourself. For sure. So um, I was born and raised in Miramichi. Um, I am married. I have two small boys. I'm, yeah, five and two. So um, cute. Jack <laughs> and Johnny. They're so yeah, cute. Jack and Johnny. Um, they uh, keep me busy. Um, I am also a registered nurse. Mm -hmm. um, I took a little break from it for just a smidge, but heading back casually, Good. Um, I do miss it. Um, but uh, so I'm excited really about that. Too. I know that you, you did a great <laughs> well, job. It's a real calling, eh? Like Aww. I mean, it's like it's being a nurse is a real calling. I, yeah. I'm very convinced. I agree. It's a very difficult job, and and sure. and, yeah. and, and and nurses are amazing. What a nice diversion <laughs> to go from being an RN to yeah. opening up your mm -hmm. own business or taking yeah. over a new yeah. business. I think there's two common denominators: is just dealing with the public. Mm -hmm. You know, I think having that interaction. Is, you love it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, social absolutely. engage. Absolutely, yep. absolutely. So we're we're really excited to have you. Thank we're you really uh, looking forward to talking all things uh, wedding. Mm -hmm. So give us a bit of history about the store. Um, how long you've owned it as well, and and at your new location? For sure. So um, this business was originally established by another um, Miramichi, born and raised, mm -hmm. um, in 1996. Okay. The original store name was Dressed Ray. Mm -hmm. um, oh. It was located around the square, and then it was changed to the Wedding Loft, and now it's the Wedding Lark. Yeah. <laughs> and the Lark just it's, sounds free and floaty mm -hmm. and nice. It just gives a sense it's, of, like, I don't know, I don't know, you can be your free self and go and buy what you want mm -hmm. and look your best. And I agree. I love it. Thanks. And then uh, recently uh, we relocated to Douglas Town. Mm. Um, and uh, I, I quite love the bridal suite that we have now because it's so um, welcoming and warm. Um, a lot of like neutral tones. It's very cozy, very welcoming. Maybe I'll yeah. get remarried then. <laughs> it would be a whole new experience. Well, you could renew Perfect. your vows. Oh, yeah, you know, I can marry the same man. Yes. <laughs> yes, I think he would like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So but no, for those been... people who have never walked in your door, what? Right. Do they expect and what can they find? Absolutely. Um, the biggest word that comes to my 
mind first is experience. Mm. When you're shopping, whether we offer bridal and prom, um, both of those services, we our biggest goal is that you enjoy the time while you're there. That's what the most important thing is. We may not have all of the styles, we may not have what you're looking for, but at the end of the day, when you walk out, whether it's with or without a gown, mm -hmm. we want you to remember how good you felt that day, because that's really what it's all about. Well, I know yeah. from experience, yeah. having done some of your shows, yeah. and <laughs> having bought your yes. gowns to wear to beautiful evening events, mm -hmm. that there's, oh my gosh, you're so accommodating. Uh -huh. I mean, can you find this? Yes. Can you, can you, well, maybe not, well, but I will look and I will look and she will bring it in. Yeah. If it's not in the store, in my size, yeah. they will find it for you. And at the end of the yes. day, what a, a lovely service you offer. Thank you. Yes. We're looking back to getting into the shows again, because mm -hmm. it's been, you know, we had to cancel two weeks for our 2020 show. Um, so we're really looking forward to getting back into that yeah. again. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard. <laughs> yeah. It's hard. Very mm -hmm. hard. Mm -hmm. yeah. Talk to us more about that. So yes. I know that, you know, because you're a friend of mine over the years um, and I've worked with you on different events and been in your store, that it was very, very tough going through a pandemic as a business owner because mm -hmm. that is your bread and butter. You were nursing at the time or mm -hmm. did you go back to nursing? No. No, you didn't. I didn't. Um, so I was on maternity leave when I took over. So it's been four years in September. Mm. Um, and when I took over in September, the, um, in March of 2020 is when we closed. Oh, no. So it was as a new entrepreneur, nobody could have warned you or no. anything. And, and so it's, I really don't know the sense of normalcy mm -hmm. as a new entrepreneur in this type of industry. Um, there really hasn't been, you know, I had about six months of uh, what it was like. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, COVID has changed everything drastically. Yeah. Um, yes. There hasn't been any business or anybody that hasn't been affected by it, so okay. it's just learning to grow with that change and accommodate. And, mm -hmm. Two but small boys, though, and two small boys. Yes, absolutely. I threw another boy in the mix there during COVID. So. <laughs> yeah, why not? So Do why not? Special like that. Mm -hmm. Well, and but so. but also you're an entrepreneur family. Yes. Yes. Like your husband is also an entrepreneur, That's right? right? Yeah. So I mean, so, it, uh, it hit every right. aspect of your life. Absolutely. So. I don't know if I could have gotten through this without them emotionally mm -hmm. um, and support wise in terms of um, their re like their their expertise, I right. guess, you right. know, right. and right. just saying like, exactly, guidance is the word I'm looking for. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's so well, I'm very fortunate. How many businesses didn't survive? Mm -hmm. You were one of those ones that went through, let's just say the bad word on air, hell, and then yes. you, you resurfaced again. That's and that's right. a business that's we, very, you know, brides. Mm, they couldn't absolutely. even get their, their normal. I, we went to a wedding of our niece yes. mm -hmm. and she had to wear a mask and I hadn't been to many other weddings during COVID that there wasn't this big protocol in place. So exactly. nothing was normal. And, that's and right. you're trying to sell gowns and bridesmaids gowns and mother mm -hmm. the bride gowns and mm -hmm. dresses and it's like mm -hmm. who is getting married mm -hmm. exactly you know it was really difficult um, a lot of the companies that we carry were very willing to work with us mm -hmm. during that time um, because of course we have two buying seasons and uh, mm -hmm. um, they were very very willing to to allow us to wow. bring in the bare minimum but mm -hmm. now this year is the first year where we're like, Kate, we're done with all of this. Yeah. We're getting back to normal. Yep. We're bringing in all the gowns. We're bringing in all the prom. You know, it's I'm excited for it's this. It's huge year. for you. Yeah. It's yeah, like it is. life can begin again at the wedding lark. That's right. Exactly. So. But now, so, yeah. you know, and Judy's talked about event dresses and things like that. So, I mean, you do have prom dresses, of course, and, yes. and wedding dresses. But you also have like event dresses. So like if you're we going do. to something special, it's a place to go. Yes, no, so we definitely have formal wear as well. Um, it's pretty amazing the versatility between prom dresses now because you you have blinged out ones and then you have A-line puffy ones, mm -hmm. but then you have that evening attire look as well. So there's mm -hmm. a wide vast there of uh, styles. Yeah. Which is yeah. good. And you have accessories as well. You have we the do. veils. We have veils, we have, we have bracelets, we have earrings. Yes. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful earrings and jewelry in there. Thank you. Yeah. Did I even yes. see little clutch bags? you have things like that? You know what? A couple of years ago, one of our prom lines came out with clutch bags, um, but they haven't done it since. It's no. another COVID. Yeah. Um, change, yes. but uh, but no, we, we haven't had any incense, but they're no. gorgeous though. Yeah. And yeah. our gowns are a dream. Yeah. Oh, get into that Thank wedding you. lark if you possibly can. There's one. There's one. I'm I, I'm 99% sure you got there, and it was a dress actually that you wore in one of her shows. It was it's a black satin 
uh, with the bow? Oh, yes, yeah, I remember On that your one. shoulder? Yeah, I think so. I think I may have sent you a picture of that recently as we were moving. Yeah, I found yeah. a bunch of photos. I love, I so. love that And the dress. yellow, the canary yellow. Oh, that was, that was gorgeous on you, too. Yeah, that there was, was gorgeous. There was a navy yeah. one with yeah. the billowing bottom. I, you know, right. and you just, they're so elegant, yeah. and they're so, um, you just feel like, you just feel like a million bucks when you put them on. It's not just a dress, it's the dress mm -hmm. of the night, right? Right, right. And that's the biggest thing is because, you know, anybody can walk in and they're going to look like a million dollars, but it's more of a feeling, mm -hmm. you know, because oh. from the outside looking in, you're going to look gorgeous. But we always tell girls, I'm like, you know, when you're in a dress, how do you feel? Mm -hmm. Because that's what it's all about. Yep. You know, mm -hmm. it, we could tell you that you should pick this dress or that dress, but really inside, you yeah. know which you love and what style you love. love yeah. Don't you love yeah. the yes to the dress? That yes. must be exciting yeah. for you it's too. It's so exciting. I want advice to everybody's wedding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really? All these problems. Yeah. Yeah. I think we should get it out there while we have the chance yes. to uh, find out the information as to how soon girls should actually, if they want mm -hmm. to buy a beautiful gown from your store, which you have yes. so many options, how long should they go to prepare, you know, in lieu mm -hmm. of their prom? Absolutely. Uh, give themselves time enough and yeah. to get it in or ordered or altered, and also the brides, how many months ahead or whatever. Exactly. So maybe we'll start with the brides first. So. Brides, we always re recommend shopping 12 months in advance. Wow. Absolutely, it can take six months for a gown to come in. Mm -hmm. um, um, sometimes it comes quicker. If it's available and in stock, we can have it within the weeks. Mm -hmm. um, however, for the most part, um, it's five to six months. Um, so we always suggest a year in advance because you have to take into consideration alterations. Mm -hmm. So yes. alterations can take up to two months just because of the unknown factors that mm -hmm. could be involved, mm -hmm. like you get sick one week, or the the seamstress maybe she has something personal going on, or Which you name it. You know, yeah, at, yeah. weather. Um, mm -hmm. So that pushes it. And the last thing we want brides to do is stressing a week before their wedding that they're going to a fitting three days mm -hmm. before. So we always say it's better to be looking at it than for it when it's done. Right. <laughs> yes. No. Mm -hmm. no. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. And then for prom, COVID has changed prom drastically. So in Canada. We usually do cutoff times because it can take four months for a gown to come in. Um, so we typically, before COVID, were getting stocked by the end of October. Now it's like end of November, December, mm -hmm. and it's first come, first serve. Mm -hmm. So um, as the little one had stated previously, mm -hmm. you know, they we write down on the back of the tag of the dress and we also register it in the computer. Um, when they purchase the dress in the store um, so that we can control control that. Oh, um, we do allow girls to try on dresses for the color purposes only, mm -hmm. but of course they can't purchase that dress. No. Um, now, we are seeing that dresses like the new 2023 dresses like last year, like we weren't fully stocked until almost the first week of January. Wow. Mm. So, you know, and where it's first come first serve, the girls want their dresses, they want like, mm -hmm. you know, they want to get it before anybody else does and I yes. get that. Um, but I have noticed in Canada that the delivery times for those new sock orders are getting later and later uh -oh. in the season. So um, I'm really hoping that they make a change and notice that and start allowing us to pick the gowns like early in the summer as opposed to the end of the summer mm -hmm. so that we can be fully stocked in like say October mm -hmm. for these young girls who are looking to find the one. Yeah, That's so. Very mm -hmm. good information to have though. People yes. have to know this, you know, if you think Absolutely. you're gonna walk in in January and get your dress by March, uh, no. This lady needs notice and she needs lots mm -hmm. of advance notice. Yeah, Absolutely. Absolutely. And then uh, of course, at the end of every year, um, come like April, um, it's a wonderful time for say, um, exchange students who don't want to buy an elaborate mm -hmm. dress, who don't want to carry that back home with them. Like we have amazing deals. Like we have dresses in the store that are marked down like 50 to 80 percent. Mm. Um, and it's just a great opportunity for them to, to get the, uh, take advantage of that. Yeah. I can see the gleam in your eyes. Yeah. You're back, Vanessa. Yeah. I mean, she's always been present, even in touch during COVID. It's <laughs> oh, like, absolutely. you know, she's yeah. trying to stay strong. There's so much going on. But yeah. what is the best part about owning the wedding lark for you? I think it's meeting everybody. Honestly, that's like the absolute best part is just getting to know people, getting yes. to know their history. Mm -hmm. It's, yeah. Being part of their special moments. Being part of that, yeah. absolutely, yeah. And but, I find she's such a calm demeanor, which lends to a great... <laughs> well, a great nurse. <laughs> a great, yeah, and you know when you go to stores and people harass yes. you and jump on you and then yeah. try this and try that. Mm -hmm. No, you don't do that. Which We have a zero pressure policy. Zero pressure because policy. Because it is not our 
that's choice. your style. That's mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. right. We provide the the options, and yeah, we and don't. They are to guide absolutely. We, we educate one. in terms of shipping times. Mm -hmm. It's their wedding. Like we say, okay, here are the facts. But at the end of the day, yeah, we would never say you have to order this yeah. today. No, that would never. No. Yeah. And I really no. like that in a business oh, owner yes. and staff. You have a lovely staff, by the way. Thank you. Yes, I love them dearly. They're, Your girls yeah, are there to great. help, no matter what. They're patient mm -hmm. and they're accommodating. If you say, could you call me back? They call you back. It's yeah. not like a week later where I'm interested in something. And mm -hmm. it's it's really good service for anyone that wants to go. It Tell people where you're located. Yes. So we have relocated down to Douglas Town at 6 Renault Street. So we're in the same area as like Urban Nest, Wine Kits, Good. Patty Cakes. It's kind of like a one-stop shop nice. for some friends. It's great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's wonderful. Yeah. One of the things about wedding dresses, and, and all of us get very hung up on size, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And so we get, you know, if I'm Absolutely. I, size 4 or 24 or whatever it may mm -hmm. be. But wedding dresses tend to run a, a differently, right? They certainly do. I'm glad we touched base on this. So wedding dresses, you have to add about four sizes to your jean Incredible. size or pant size to obtain that. So we always tell brides and prom girls, because it, it constitutes to them too, um, don't look at that. Mm. You can't pay attention to that, because okay. that's not, it's not the true the true yeah. size. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's true size to the bridal and prom world, to the dress right. world. But it's certainly not to your body. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, uh, yeah, it, it's a struggle sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, but we are very size inclusive. We have prom dresses sized. Normally we don't order anything less than a size 10, mm -hmm. um, up to 30, mm -hmm. and then the same with bridal. That's incredible. The lowest to be about a 12, mm -hmm. um, and then also goes up to size 32. That's so, incredible. Yeah. What a vast a, a I range. Know. Yeah, we, I always make a joke because when I'm working by myself and we get a new uh, dress in, I always try it on, but I'm always clipping it, or maybe it's too, uh, like, yeah, and mm -hmm. uh, I always make a note on the bottom of a picture, like, you know, the stress is, it's clipped. Like right, it's yeah. not, you know, because sure. most of the time, especially during COVID, I worked by myself. So mm. I'm there, I'm it. And you know, I'm not, every woman is shaped differently. Yeah. So I always made sure to note that um, so that people didn't think that, oh my heavens, like that dress just fits her. I can't I, shop yeah, there. Yeah, right, exactly. You know? No. So, yeah. yeah. But you're yeah. gorgeous modeling. Uh, well, thank you. I have a lot of fun. I, I love oh, your social media presence. Thank you. I do. Yeah, every time I, I see one of your pictures, I'm like, oh my goodness. And then when you share Dream. brides' pictures from yes. when they wore the dress oh, that they got. Yeah. yeah. Dream yeah. dresses. I love it. Or prom thank dresses, you. too. I've seen those. So, yeah, yeah. love love your social media yeah. presence. Thank you. Yeah. We only have about a minute left. Is there anything else that you would like to get out there about anything, any specials, any events anything in the last minute right now we're just in the process of trying to plan another wedding show but right. we're trying to to decide what time of year is best to do that mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of in the works right now um, and yeah we're just if anybody's last minute for prom or wedding we have amazing off the rack mm -hmm. um, dresses Love it. Um, right now all of our bridal is under fifteen hundred dollars for off the rack oh, wow. um, sizes you know six to thirty Beautiful. Um, and the same goes for prom Love mm -hmm. it. well I'm certainly yeah. excited to talk about it yeah. I mean as women we all just we love the dresses I know. Yes. don't we we do I well I do anyway me too and I want to thank you for thank all you for the times me. you've been so kind to me in there and I'm there's gonna be more times Aww. to come because I can't wait to get back yeah. in. I'm excited too. Thank you Vanessa <laughs> Summers. Thank, thank you Gary yes, Garrison. Thank you've been you. wonderful as always and thank you to our viewers for joining us mm -hmm. for Have a Chat. It's a long weekend coming up and we'll see you the weekend after that. <laughs> Goodbye, take care, stay well. Thank you.